to Jesus isn't it come on everyone come on I want you to celebrate Jesus in this place come on come on someone shout Jesus I believe we will all see his throne come on on our praises amen come on I want you to come friend come on pull someone come on I want you to come friend come on come on Delhi come on everyone all the sisters to the doors come come on friend
Okay. Okay. Let's all cut down the music. Come on, everyone who has voice, tell Jesus. Okay. I don't want to do a deliverance prayer right now. Okay, Delhi people be nice, okay? 2021 at least. Okay, I want you to tell Raja He Mahan. Come on, Raja He Mahan. Come on, Yeshu Raja He Mahan. Amen. Come on. Raja He Mahan. Everyone, come on. I think you can sing a little louder. Come on.
super 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 power super 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 power super 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 power jesus power in your presence lord i just pray whatever it is even as we are praying in this room i just pray day will come where we will see all the answers for our prayer lord every vision every dream that is birthing in this place let it come fast through in this 2021 in the name of jesus come on come on i want you to go ahead i want you to start believing come on just pray for the unity in this nation come on pray for the unity of the bride in this nation come on i want you to believe that come on come on let's let's believe for the joy in this season come on every broken people come on every depression leave this room right now in the name of jesus come on i want you to use your authority your dominion what god has given come on all the clutches all the masks you have to remove right now in the name of jesus
want you to think about that name what it can do for us one of his there is any greatest promise for us and the promise is Jesus himself God, I want you to think about that name what that can do how powerful is that name and the name is still living amongst us Yeah. 
Chorus 1 Chorus has been my everything for the past two years.
So I'm gonna sing In the middle of the song Come on
Oh, your worship, your altar can change the God's heart towards this nation.
everybody. You got to be loud because I can't speak. Isn't it an amazing day? Only Lily feels it. Isn't it an amazing day? So why is everybody so lazy and just busy and gossiping? I guess you, you can just come forward and you know, um, because it's a time of prayer. And as much as enthusiasm we show during um, worship and you know singing and dancing, I want all of us to take the word as much as important the worship is. And right now nobody is allowed to go out. So if anybody is planning to go out, please stay back. So um, today we're going to pray about provision. I, I was just reflecting on, you know, 2020. I was just thinking how 2020 have been for us. Um, probably, you know, not. People would just say 2020, oh man. That, that's, that's the word that would just come out of us. So personally me, I was just cribbing. I was just cribbing in the end of the year that God, nothing significant has just happened, you know. Um, it's it's all just in vain. We were so excited about 2020 and look at that. It just went off like that and God just spoke to my heart. He said, um, you're looking for significance. You're looking for something, something big that would have happened. But just think of those little things that have happened in your life. You know, those little, little days where you were not sick. You were home, but you had food to eat. You were home, but you had a home to stay. And isn't that enough? Because probably a lot of people don't have that privilege at this point of time. So when you are looking for significance, God wants you to just reflect on those little things that has happened to you. You know, your family, your kids, your parents could have been one of them who lost their life. They could have been one of them who was sick and tired and, you know, COVID would just have somehow got into them. But to see how good our father is that all of us were safe, right? And can anybody say that, you know, they did not have food in those six months of lockdown? Like, you were just hungry, thirsty, and looking for food around, right? No. I believe everyone right here would have had provision. Like, supernaturally, God would have provided you about, you know, it would have been abundance, I believe. Because for me, I believe that it was abundance. Even when I, I wasn't doing anything, my parents were home. But still, there was not even a single day when I lack. I was just full. I was full of God's provision. And today we are going to pray over jobs. Many of them have lost it. Right? Your peop the people you know who would have been in a good situation, just in, you know, the twinkling of an eye, as we say, you know, everything would have just gone down. So we got to pray for jobs. We're going to pray for marketplace. We're going to pray for good things to happen, you know, in, in the marketplace, job opportunities, um, you know, let it be for church, people should come out of the church, um, become in such a way that, you know, it's, it can be self-sustained, it can be taken, you know, nobody has to support them, they can support themselves, and we are going to just believe and declare that provision from the Father is our portion, and we have to declare it and receive it. So there's something that I would uh, want to share. So in Psalms 50, verse 15, it says, And call on me in the day of the trouble. I will deliver you and I will honor you. So he is saying, the father is saying, you feel troubled? Just call me. I'm there, you know, I'm there to honor you, I'm there to love you. And we believe this is the word of God. John says, you know, in the beginning there was word and word was with God and word was God. So this is God who you are reading it right now. 
so it cannot be a lie it is a truth that you just have to call on to him so right now when josephine and vidya are going to come and pray i want all of you to have a heart like it's not that we were all happy and good so that we would not pray and we would just sit no that that's not how it works when it's interceding you have to stand in the gap all of us it's for all of us right and um we're going to go into this time of uh, you know just praising him and just believing and declaring and i if if possible just we could just stand up you know just to just to feel warmed up and if you want to jump around dance around do it you know don't feel ashamed because god isn't ashamed of you even if whatever you would have done right so let's let's pray together and just see how god is going to take over from here wasn't at peace like two hours ago and one thing that popped out of the bible for me was that unity and i do believe that there is something here working about the unity so i know it is trouble but can you please bring everybody in John can you please bring everybody in Hi Simon Hi I won't do this if it wasn't crucial like my god when Paul was saying that um, God teaches to pray I 100% I'm sure that he you know kind of stood in space he looked through space and time and kind of threw a rock at me I am the last person who should be praying here I am not kidding in all honesty and actuality I'm saying I do not know how to pray I do not know anything about the bible and yes I'm a pentecostal but I really really I wouldn't do this if it wasn't him so can you please everybody has to come in I'm so sorry by then can we all come up come forward hold hands super important wow please yes yes hi simon
like Jesus does this one thing where he casts all the spirit like it said that about 2000 spirits were taken from the people from that man and given into the swine i believe we can do the opposite that if one of us has one spirit if one of us we are united i i'm so sorry i'll have to read one verse from the bible it goes um ephesians chapter 4 verses 1 3 i therefore the prisoner of the lord beseech you to walk worthy of the calling of the calling with which you were called with all lowliness and gentleness and long suffering bearing one another bearing one another we do not get to live life alone like it's very it's hard and so easy at the same time to live life alone but we just don't get to do that like that's once you get Jesus so as beautiful as he is we kind of have to come out of our comfort zone and it's not pretty it's not easy but it has to be done endeavoring to keep endeavoring i googled it because uh, endeavoring means to try very hard to try very hard i don't think like i know you guys are super talented and you have so much talent i'm like trust in front of you but I don't think when it comes to spiritual things we have the habit of trying very hard. We are very content in the place that we are and um, it's again super comfortable. So endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. So I believe that if one of us one of us is connected to the holy spirit here if one of us has the spirit he is too powerful to just be contained by that one person and i pray i pray oh i pray father that all of our spirits would awaken father that all of our spirits would awaken that is not in the hands of our emotion 96 hours cannot completely be done through just emotion your emotions will wear out you are we are the we have been given the spirit we cannot live by the world we cannot be defined by the world i am i'm so sorry i'm taking time but i am an occupational therapist and i do mental health and i promise you all of us would most definitely be called crazy according to the mental health terms talking in tongue in tongues is supposed to be like oops, crazy people do that they give examples they say that oh there is a group of people called pentecostals who speak in tongues whatever we do it will be called crazy and we cannot we cannot please the world we cannot completely run by the way the our friends say it is and it it does not mean that we have to live in a place of loneliness it means that we need to know how to be alone with god and then go back into there because we have a spirit we cannot walk according to this that's not what we are called to be so i pray i pray that all of us whoever can speak in tongues please and the rest can we just close our eyes forget that we are maybe in front of camera forget that we are here log into your spirits and just pray that if you have a little bit of the spirit and the person next to you has a little bit of the spirit we are all temples we all unite to become one and that each gifts that each of us have they will transmit from one end to the other and the spirit would move from one end to the other because we cannot live by milk we cannot live by liquid food as fun as worship is we can worship for forever but there is a point where we have to have solid food it does not mean you don't worship but just we have to have solid food we have to know what is happening in the spirit the closest thing we have to us is the spirit and the one thing that we live completely unaware of is the spirit just praying you're not praying just for yourself you're praying for the person next to you 
because we cannot go back after sore after sore after sore and go back into our old like we're back to normal there is no back to normal i hope we all receive that that there is no back to normal we do not get to go back to normal it sounds very funny but one such event will change your life we're not supposed to go back to the way things were we're supposed to go back with something more we're supposed to go back with something in us unwinded Abundance, abundance, we are 
called into abundance i did not know the bible was existed again i am not very good at the bible but we have been given everything what no man has heard what no eye has seen that is what he's planning and the only reason one thing that i've realized with whatever years i've lived is that the only reason that we don't move forward is because we don't open up to the spirit he needs allowance is he great yes he is great but he needs to partner with you that's what he wants that's what that's the main reason he gave his son we are called into abundance we are called into abundance we are called into abundance abundance in every area of our life i really abundance in every area of our life abundance in every area of our life second corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 says god is able to make all grace abound towards you that you always have sufficiency in all the things may have an abundance for every good work sufficiency in all things sufficiency in all things these times have been really really hard for each and every one of us but i especially i was very comfortable with my parents i was with them like but lord a lot of people have suffered and though for a lot of us covid was not that great for a lot of us covid was amazing time because we had that much time with the lord but we cannot ignore the fact that there were people there were people who lost their jobs there were people who want when we say that people lost their jobs why is that sad why is people losing their jobs sad the reason it is sad is because we sometimes get completely when we do not have money we completely get surrounded by that and we are very prone to depression so all i am saying is that father all we want is that our spirits would awaken even if we lost our jobs even if a lot of us lost our jobs i pray that all of us would arise in the spirit and see that that is not what defines us and though the times the things the truth staring right in front of us is not comfortable but father help us remember that help us to keep our head above the water help us to keep our head above the water only then can the spirit really reach you because when you keep your head above the water is when you are ready to forget your emotions no matter how strong they are and remember who you are remember what you were called into and that is abundance i don't think we were ever called to live in non abundant circumstances i don't know if that's a word father lord i pray for every heart that's here i pray for everyone who lost their jobs everyone who's lost i pray for each and every heart no matter we how many times we've encountered you there is there are times when we lose ourselves when we forget who we are and we give allowance to the holy spirit to call us out of our states and remind us who we are remind us who we are i pray for every heart here i pray for the beautiful work that you're doing here none of us not even if there are people who are no matter who it is none of us go back same we've come to live in this these five days we live in substance we have some substance and we'll always have substance and i pray that and i prophesy that over you that we'll not live in the vapor we'll have substance we'll always and always have substance i pray for each and everything i pray for the word i pray for the worship i pray for everything i thank you for the holy spirit 
Thank you for the amazing gift that we have. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. आइए हम पवित्र आत्मा में बने रहे और एक वचन के साथ स्टार्ट करना चाहती हूँ कि लुक ट्वेंट लुक चैप्टर ट्वेल्व वर्स ट्वेंटी फोर कंसिडर रेवंस दे डू नॉट सो और रीप they have no storeroom or barn yet god feeds them and how much more valuable you are than birds aap to unke santan hai oh thank you lord lord aap kahuye kahu ko aap bhojan paroste ho lord to hum aapke santan hai lord to hum aap hum aap hum kitne moolya hai lord aapke liye us jaise humne dekha tha ki ye lockdown mein pura किसी के जॉब्स चले गए थे कितने लोग भूखे थे किसी को खाना नहीं मिल रहा था और लोग सड़क में थे किसी और लोग बीमार थे उनको हॉस्पिटल जाने के लिए भी पैसे नहीं थे बट हम कितने वैल्यूबल है हम कितने हम कितने गॉड हमें डिजर्विंग बनाया कि हम यहाँ पे हैं आज हम गॉड के सम्मुख में हैं यहाँ पे आज कि हमारा विश्वास कायम रहे uh, मैं एक टेस्टमनी से स्टार्ट करना चाहती हूँ कि आ, मेरे आ, मम्मी काम करती थी देन मम्मी ने गॉड ने उनको बोला कि फुल टाइम मिनिस्ट्री में जाने के लिए आ, सब लोगों ने क्वेश्चन पूछने लग गए कि कैसे तुम लोग घर को मैनेज करोगे हमें मैं, हम, हमने प्रेयर करा गॉड ये क्वेश्चंस हमारे अंदर नहीं होने चाहिए लॉर्ड हम सुपर वो जो विश्वास है हमारे लॉर्ड आपने हमें विश्वास दिया कि हमें पता है कि आप हमें प्रबंध करोगे आप हमें सब कुछ दोगे लॉर्ड क्योंकि हम आपके बच्चे हैं हम आप, आपके संतान हैं हमें कुछ नहीं आप हमें सब कुछ देने वाले परमेश्वर उनका वादा सच्चा है उन्होंने बोले कि जो तुम तो मेरे में मांगोगे मैं तुम्हें दूंगा और उन्हें हमें दिया है उसके लिए कोटा कोटी धन्यवाद आइए हम डिक्लेयर करें हम घोषणा करें कि हमें कोई कमी घटी नहीं होगी और उन वचन में लिखा है कि तुम्हारे पास राय के बराबर भी विश्वास होगा तो तुम उस पहाड़ को बोलो कि वो वहां से हट जाए वो हट जाएगा हमारे पास वो विश्वास है हमें गॉड ने एक स्थिर मन दिया है हमें खड़े होके पूरा टेस्ट मनी देने के लिए हमें दिया है हम आइए आज हम पूरा डिक्लेयर करते पूरे टंग्स में प्रे करिए कि हम विश्वास पे स्थिर रहे विश्वास पे स्थिर रहे हम पूरे विश्वास पे स्थिर रहे ओ थैंक यू लॉर्ड लॉर्ड यहाँ पे कितने जितने भी लोग हैं लॉर्ड और आपके बच्चे हैं लॉर्ड लॉर्ड ये विश्वास में स्थिर रहने पाए लॉर्ड ये लोग एक दिन खड़े होकर टेस्ट में नहीं देने पाए लॉर्ड ये लोग एक दिन गवाही बनके ठहरने पाए लॉर्ड कि हाँ परमेश्वर मेरा परमेश्वर ने सब कुछ मुझे दिया है मुझे से बढ़कर जो मैंने नहीं सोचा था वो मुझे दिया है उसके लिए कोटा कोटी धन्यवाद लो हम आपके में संतुष्टि रहने पाए लो क्योंकि आप सुपर करने वाले परमेश्वर हो आप सबसे महान परमेश्वर जो जो हमें पता ही नहीं आप हमारा जो, जो, यो, जो हमारा सोच है वो आकाश और और आकाश और पृथ्वी से भी अंतर है लॉर्ड हम जो सोचते हैं लॉर्ड आप उसे बढ़कर सोचने वाले परमेश्वर हम लोग और विश्वास में रहने वाले होने पाए लॉर्ड और विश्वास में बढ़ने वाले होने पाए कि ताकि एक दिन आप हमें बोलने पाए ये मेरा पुत्र है जिसने मेरी बात मानी जिसने मेरी बात मानी उसको पता था मैं सब कुछ करूंगा उसके लिए इसने में विश्वास कायम रखा चाहे आंधी आए चाहे तूफान आए चाहे कोविड कुछ भी आए मेरा परमेश्वर मेरे साथ है उसके चाहे कुछ भी हो मेरा परमेश्वर मेरे साथ है चाहे कुछ भी हो मेरा परमेश्वर हमेशा हमेशा साथ रहेगा और रहने वाला है उसके लिए कोटा कोटी धन्यवाद और अब अब हम यहाँ पे हर एक जने यहाँ पे गवाही बन के ठहरेंगे गवाही बन के ठहरेंगे हम ऐसे वैसे लोग नहीं है जो अगर नहीं हुआ तो पीछे हो जाए हम लोग पीछे मुड़ के नहीं देखेंगे हम पीछे मुड़ने वाले समय से नहीं है हम आगे वाले हम हम क्रूज को देखने वाले पर हम लोग हैं कि मेरा परमेश्वर आगे है वो मुझे लेके जाएगा चाहे मेरे को पता भी नहीं है रास्ता कि वो मुझे दाए ले जा रहा है बाए ले जा रहा है मेरा डेस्टिनेशन कहाँ है बट मुझे पता है मेरा परमेश्वर ने हाथ थाम है तो मुझे लेकर जाएगा जहाँ भी लेकर जाएगा एंड उनको पता है हम ऐसे विश्वास में बने रहे 
को डाक को धन्यवाद ये छोटी सी बातें यीशु मसीह के नाम से मांगती हूँ सुनो को भी कहता है विल विल जस्ट रीड आइजिया वन नाइनटीन इट सेज इफ यू आर विलिंग एंड ओबीडियंट यू शैल ई द गुड ऑफ द लैंड इफ यू आर विलिंग एंड इफ यू आर ओबीडियंट यू शैल ई द गुड ऑफ द लैंड वी जस्ट क्विकली गन अ फॉर everything every provision it's let it be our jobs let it be the workplaces um let it be for the churches let it be for our own families but we are going to quickly pray, uh, pray that you know god is going to take complete control over it daddy jesus thank you for this time thank you for thank you for making us together in your name we pray that you are going to turn and twist our hearts and we may be obedient and willing to receive jesus that we may eat the good of the land jesus we pray that every person who has lost their jobs they it is restored it is restored with abundance it's restored in hundred portions of it jesus nobody is going to lack jesus we pray that you are going to open up the gates to jesus of the marketplace lord father your people are going to take complete control in that area jesus when people don't see hope lord father your people are going to bring out hope right there jesus there would be lot of new strategies that the people would people of god would receive jesus and out of which jobs would come out of the place jesus you would we would just come out in such a way that you would people would just say and they would want to know what we carry jesus we pray that nobody is going to be in a lack situation jesus nobody is going to be in a place where they would have to think of their tomorrow rather we are going to trust in you and we are going to just completely believe that you are the one who provide jesus because abundance is our portion jesus we are meant to have it all jesus thank you for being such a good father thank you for being an amazing father jesus we are believing and trusting in you lord father the doors of the market place is going to open jesus we declare that there is going to be a restoration on everything that is broken jesus and restoration would not be just as it was jesus but it is going to come out beautifully lord father it's going to come out in a way that we would think that you know we thought we are minority as and we were behind jesus but that's not how it's going to be because we are obedient we would be willing to eat the good of the land jesus we would just eat the good of the land because you are our father jesus we pray for everybody to come out jesus we pray that you would bring out people like you would bring out testimonies jesus you are going to build things that would help us to sustain ourselves lord father we will not have to wait for how to go about tomorrow jesus we would not have to depend on a job just to take care of our, ourselves and our families jesus because you are going to give us ideas you are going to give us plans that's going to feed us you are going to give us ideas that's going to bring money to the land jesus we would live in the land of the living and we would be the people who would lend out to nations jesus we would be the people who would just give out to the ones who are in need lord father not expecting anything from them but jesus just with the heart of giving lord it's not just about jobs it's not just about anything lord father but the provision the provision in terms of money the provision in terms of a heart the provision in terms of every little things jesus you are going to take complete control we believe that we trust in your father and we believe that today is the day when we are declaring this over the city jesus delhi would not lack none of us would lack from the capital jobs would go out of people we will recruit people we will give them opportunities to bring their skills out right there jesus we will be able to give out to them even when people see destruction we are going to show them what life looks like jesus nobody would strive for them because we are not meant to strive jesus we are meant to enjoy in your presence we declare and we believe that you have already done you have already done all
back into his ice cream. Oh, just thank you for hundred fold. We want to honor you, Daddy. We want to thank you for what you're going to do. We are excited to do this. We are excited as a family, Lord God, and we are going to see. We are going to see the truth coming into life, Jesus. The truth will bring us. Give everything into your hands. We take complete control. We show you something of 